What is there to say about Yu-Gi-Oh! GX? This is the series during which most people left the Yu-Gi-Oh! fandom. The stories were often absurd, the setting was often absurd, and the main character was often absurd. It didn't seem to be taking itself nearly as seriously as the first series, and on top of that, the dub was just bad. It was bad. But then again, Four Kids is literally the devil. I did watch a little bit of the show in the original language with subtitles, but I also watched the dub, and having literally only watched the original series as a dub up until that point, I was able to muscle my way through the most annoying aspects of the dub and came to actually enjoy the series. The characters were more diverse and in a lot of ways I felt more realistic. They reacted to the world around them in more realistic ways. And despite the fact that he was kind of ridiculous, I really liked Jaden. I liked the idea of this guy who loved the game so much and was so thankful for the opportunity to play the game that he loved professionally. As that was the premise of the series, that a school has been started up on an island out in the middle of nowhere where dual can train to be duelists professionally, to play the card game Duel Monsters professionally, to entertain audiences. It's absolutely ridiculous. No card game would ever get that popular in real life. But I don't care, because that's the kind of thing I wish would actually happen. I would love it if Yu-Gi-Oh! became as popular as major sporting events, and that you could walk in with a theme deck that represented you as a person and win an entire championship. It was wish fulfillment of the purest form, and I ate all of it up. And it hooked me into this show. Unfortunately though, GX was a very unevenly written show. It started out like a children's fun time adventure, and then got very dark and very serious very quickly, and never really came back. And suddenly you had the fun-loving Jaden fighting life-or-death battles. And while eventually they do develop his character to address that, they do show that having to fight life-and-death battles with this game that he loves as a weapon has changed him for the worst, and then gave him an arc where he had to find that original person that he used to be again. It came a little too late, I think, for most people, for most people who stuck around with the show. And viewership of the English version of the show just dropped like a stone, and eventually four kids didn't even bother dubbing the final season which I think was probably the best of the bunch. It's really a shame that this series isn't liked by more people. With such a diverse cast, it had equally diverse opportunities for character stories. And minor characters often saw themselves getting entire story arcs. The character of, he was called Chumley here in America, I don't remember what he's called in the Japanese version, uh, for just one example, despite being a terrible duelist who kept being held back at school, got his own arc where he found a place as a card designer at Industrial Illusions, the company that makes the game. This character, who seemed like a joke, who was taken as a joke, got genuine character development, and I really appreciated that. And even though some of the worst duels of the series, and there were some pretty bad duels in this series, felt like some of the worst duels of the filler arcs from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters anime, when the duels on this show got big, they got big. Whenever a multi-part duel rolled around or a duel against a powerful rival rolled around, the writers really stepped things up. The pacing got better, the stakes got higher, and Jaden almost always had to summon some new monster that he'd never used before to win the day. However, this is also probably the worst contribution that GX made to the lore. As I mentioned a couple videos back, it did latch onto and expand a couple of points that were introduced to the lore during the filler arcs of the Duel Monsters anime, such as the idea of multiple dimensions and of magical items apart from the Millennium items, but what it contributed in those areas wasn't anything that you couldn't have gleaned from the initial introduction of those aspects to the lore. Probably the biggest contribution that GX made to the lore was the pulling cards out of their ass effect where the main character finds themselves in a situation that they just can't overcome with the cards they've got, so suddenly they're able to summon a monster that doesn't exist. For those who don't know, in order to summon a monster, even a monster that is a fusion of other monsters, you have to have the corresponding monster card in your extra deck, which is a stack of cards off to the side of the main stack of cards that you use for the game. It's the same thing with Synchro Monsters and Xyz Monsters from later series. The exception to this was during the Duel Monsters anime, where as long as you had the right monster, in play, you could combine them into a fusion monster even if you didn't own the fusion card. But GX used the actual literal rules for the game, up to and including the list of cards that were banned from tournament play. And yet Jaden consistently fused his monsters into monsters that he didn't have the corresponding card of. And this example was followed by virtually all future Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Most noticeably, probably in 5Ds and in the current anime series, Arc 5. And while it is cool to see the protagonist win by using their force of will to bring down a miracle, this is occasionally overused. Now it can be used right. 5Ds, for example, used it right. But I'm worried as more and more series are added to this franchise, the sixth series was just announced a couple days ago, that eventually this will get so out of hand that this will stop being used effectively and will just 
become common. So at the end of the day, as cool as it can be to see the characters break out a card that we've never seen before inexplicably and use it to win the day, I really wish that GX had never introduced this idea to the lore of the franchise. Still, I think GX is a worthwhile series to check out. If you are a Yu-Gi-Oh fan and you got turned off to the series at some point, I'd recommend finding it online and giving it a watch all the way through. It might not be as bad as you remember. Still, even though I really like this series, I will fully admit that it had a lot of flaws. So let's move on to a series which didn't have as many flaws. A favorite amongst Yu-Gi-Oh fans, Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds. Be sure to check out the next video for that. But until then, remember, the fun is just beginning.